welcome to this week's video as per our pupils or viewer request and we're looking, going to be looking at circle theorem or angles in circles as part of the national five and sometimes GCSE curriculum and what I've done here is I've got some drawings here really to demonstrate these three points here which are the main things that you need to know with regards to angles and circles so the first point here so a tangent, you might have heard the word a tangent, it's a straight line which intersects, i.e. touches, a circle once. So if we look along here, this one here is a tangent because it just touches the circle once. This one here isn't a tangent because it touches the circle twice. And this one isn't a tangent because it doesn't touch the circle at all. Um, what it says here as well is a line drawn from the circle centre to this line makes right angles. So in this one here, if we have the circle centre there and we draw a line there, we get right angles. So this is something that you're going to be looking out for in your various diagrams. The second point here says that an isosceles triangle can be found whereby two sides of a triangle are both a radius or a radii. Uh, so if we look at the diagram here, and this one here, this side and this side are both radiuses or radii. So that's a radius and that's a radius. So that's an isosceles triangle. In this one here, again, this is a radius and this is a radius. So this is an isosceles triangle. And it shouldn't be difficult to know if it is a radius because a radius is just a, a line going from the edge of the circle to the centre. So that's a radius and that's a radius. And this one here, again, there's a centre to the edge, so that's a line, centre to the edge. So they're both a radius, so that's a isosceles triangle. The last one here, the last point, says that a right angle triangle can be found where one side is a diameter and the other two sides join together on the circumference. I've got three very different types of triangles that fit that criteria. So this is a, a diameter. A diameter goes all the way straight across the middle. And then this side and this side join together on the circumference of the circle. In this one here, again, we've got a diameter. This time it's going straight up and down. And these two sides join together on the circumference or on the, the circle edge. And this one here, this side is a diameter, and then this side and this side join together on the circumference. So if you need to, you know, feel free to watch this part again. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at examples of these within questions. So what we have here is just before we do the actual examples is just look at these rules that we should know from should know from earlier stages in National 5 actually. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, so we should know that. Angles in a straight line add up to 180. Angles in a circle add up to 360. And angles in a right angle add up to 90 degrees. So these are just pieces of sort of knowledge that you should have from previous times that you're also going to apply in some of these questions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refer to an actual four-step guide and we're going to use it to actually answer some questions. So what we have here is a kind of four-step guide that we're going to use to answer the questions. So I would suggest you get a screenshot or you copy it down, but I'll just quickly read them through. So when you have a diagram that's got a circle with a lot of angles in it, First thing to do is pick out a triangle in the diagram and then decide are two sides of that triangle of that triangle radiuses are they radiuses or are they radii so if there's two sides that are both radiuses then if that's a yes it's an isosceles triangle so that allows you to do things the next step there is is one side of so you maybe try another one if you'd already got it for that one is one side of the triangle a radius and the other side a tangent? And in this case, yes, it's a right angle triangle. And in the fourth one here, 
so basically you might have already found that in one in which case you would forget about that and pick another triangle um, so if one side of the triangle is a radius and the other is a tangent then it's right angled and then the fourth one here is is one side of that triangle a diameter and the other two sides connect on the circumference of the circle then yes it's a right angled triangle so we're going to apply these principles to the question that every question that we're going to do so we have a question here and it says fill in the missing angles below i should point out that quite often in an exam question they'll, they'll give you a specific angle that you're trying to work out but in order to get that angle you usually need to fill in all the missing angles to get to that point so we'll start with this one here and on the four step guide the first thing it says is to pick out a triangle on the diagram so i'm looking at this one here and i'm going to go for this triangle here so the one that goes like that this one here the one with the 26 degrees in it so in it, the second step there it says are two sides of that triangle radiuses or radii now they're not i mean technically that one side makes up two radii but it's there's not two sides of that triangle that are radiuses the next step there says is one side of the triangle a radius and the other a tangent no one side's not a radius and the other a tangent the fourth step says is one side of that triangle a diameter and the other two sides connect in the circumference this is where it's looking better because that is a diameter and the other two sides connect on the circumference so yeah so it's this triangle here i'm looking at and it's, it's a right angle triangle so this triangle we know is a right angle triangle so this angle here is is right angled and what we were talked about earlier on that you should know from previous times is that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees so we know that's 90 and that's 26 so if we add them together we get 116 degrees so in order to get this angle here i.e. in order to get the, the missing angle we need to subtract that from 180 so if we do 180 takes away 116 degrees and that gives me 64 degrees so that angle in here is 64 degrees so what i can do now is i can pick out another angle in the triangle so if i look at i could look at this one here this triangle here and what it says there is that is if we look at this one here the one side is a diameter so it's very much like the other triangle there one side is a diameter and the other two sides connect in the circumference so this is also a right angle triangle now you might be saying at this point well we don't know anything else but that's okay if i look over here right another bit of information that we knew was that angles in a right angle add up to 90 degrees so this angle in here we know that this angle and this angle because this is a tangent here so if we talk about over here uh, this is a tangent here then this and this add up to make one uh, 90 degrees so 90 take away 78 gives me 12 degrees so that angle in here is just 12 degrees and then when we look at the triangle that we had there then we know that they add up to 180 degrees so 90 add 12 is 102 degrees and then we just subtract that from 180 so 180 take away 102 degrees gives me 78 degrees so this angle here is 78 degrees what we can also bear in mind um, is that we've got a we've got a tangent going along here so although there's not an actual triangle here um, we've got a we have got a tangent so this side's a tangent here one side of a triangle is a um is a, essentially a radius there it's a tangent and we know that a tangent makes 90 degrees so if i do 90 take away 64 then 
in this angle and here is 26. And then on here, you get the angles in a straight line, add up to 180 degrees. So that's 90. Well, this must also be 90. And then 90 add 26. You get 116 degrees. So in this angle here, obviously the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if I add those two together, 116, and then if I do 180, take away 116, I get 64 degrees. So, I'm going to do, so that's basically everything filled in. I'm going to do another example. So in this example here, same idea, we're asked to fill in the missing angles below. So the first step, as we were told before, up here is to pick out a triangle in the diagram. So I'm going to pick out this triangle here, quite a big one, this triangle here. So this one here. And the next step, as before, asks are two sides of that triangle radiuses? Well, they're actually not, because we've got this side here as a radius, and that side goes all the way there. The next step says, is one side of the triangle a radius and the other a tangent? Well, yes, because that side's a radius and then that's a tangent because it's a straight line that touches the circle in one place. So when it's a tangent, a tangent makes a right angle. That's what it tells me there. So this angle here is right angled. And we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we do 90 add 36, which is 126. And then we subtract that from 180. So 180 minus 126 gives me 54 degrees. So this angle here is 54 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick another triangle in the diagram. So but this time I'm going to pick this triangle here. So this one here. So this one here and here. And then it says, is two, are two sides of that triangle radiuses or radii? Well, yeah, they are, because that's a radius and that's a radius. And the other thing we know is that angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So on this part here, this here adds up to 180. So if we just subtract 36 from 180, we get 144. So this angle here is 144 degrees. And we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if we do 180, take away 144, obviously we'll just get 36. So these two angles, because it's isosceles, these two angles add up to 36. So when I divide that by two, I get 18 degrees. So each of those angles is 18 degrees. And then one of the other rules that I know is that, or actually if we have a look at the this triangle here this time, so this time we're quite hard to point out, but we're looking from here to here to here. And we know that, they know that one side of this triangle is a diameter, because that side's a diameter there, and the other two sides meet there. So we know that it's a right angle, that's what it says, it's a right angle triangle. So it's not that, it's this right angle here. So this part here is right angled. And if I want to get that angle there, I can just subtract the 18 from 90 degrees. So 90 minus 18, which is 72. And then this angle here is a straight line, 180 minus 72 is 108. And then we've got another triangle here. Here, and you can just do the 180 
can do 108 and 54, which is 162. And then 180 minus 162 is 18. And then if I want that angle there, I just subtract 18 from 90. Okay, we'll do another example. So we've got this example now. Now this might look quite simple by comparison. So we'll just pick out a triangle in the diagram. So I'm going to go for this one here this one here and our two sides of that triangle radiuses or radii and the answer is yes because that's a radius and that's a radius so when it's, it's an isosceles triangle so we know that that angle and this angle are going to be the same so that's going to be 66 degrees and if we've got a, any triangle as we said angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees so if I do 56 add 56, I get 112. So to get this angle here, I just subtract that from 180. So 180 take away 112 gives me 68 degrees. And then what I want to do is in order to get this angle here, so it's a straight line, so angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So I just do 180 minus 68. So it's 112 degrees. So this angle here is 112 degrees. And then if I look at the other triangle here, this one here, and then two sides of that triangle are radii. So this is also an isosceles. So this one and this one are the same. If I do 180 minus 112, I get 68. And then what I do is I just half that to get the other two sides. So 68 divided by 2 is 34. So each of these angles is 34 degrees and 34 degrees. Okay. Please like, please subscribe and Please feel free to suggest any videos that you would like to see. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.